Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. your dreams, guys, but that's not a movie poster. It's a wanted poster. A wanted poster? Huh? A wanted poster? What have you done, Sam? Me? Nothing at all. I've done nothing, I'm telling you. Sam has been naughty, and now there's gonna be trouble. <clears throat> oh, no! That must be the dog pound coming to get Sam! <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, hello. I'm Mrs. Itby, Arlette Itby, and I've had a call from my veterinarian, Mr. Vetovic, who tells me that my cat, Tom, is here with you. What's that, Tom? I don't believe we have any Toms here. No, honey, are there any Toms here in this house? Tom, my cat, the one I lost? Incredible. Sam is called Tom. That's crazy. Yes, but it means he's not our Sam. That's incredible. Sam has a boy cat. Not a twin, that's a real cat. That just so happens to look exactly like Sam. We had no idea our Sam had another home before coming to us. We're really sorry. We're awfully attached to him. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Out of the question. That is my cat. He belongs to me and I want him. I want my Tom right this minute. <laughs> so Sam, you're living a double life, are you? Or should I say a triple life? But it's not him! Tom is a real cat who happens to look like him. That's all! How appalling. Two Sams? How can nature be so cruel? You gotta help us find Tom fast. If I let take Sam away and realizes he's a wild boar, it'll be a catastrophe for us. Let me think this through. No more Sam. No one making noise during my naps. <gasps> Catastrophe indeed. Listen to your heart, Victoria. Listen to it beating like a butterfly. Your share of kibble plus Sam for the next three weeks. My share of kibble in just for one week. You're on. Let's start by going to see Fang. He spends his life outside. If something happened in the neighborhood, he'll know about it. Super. Thanks, Victoria. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you seen this cat? Let me think about this. Yes, I have. Right here. <laughs> so what's going on now? Have dogs lost their scent? Can't see behind the tips of their noses? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, Fang. Uh, but anyway, have you seen them or not? Mm. Okay, that's enough. No more fooling around. I've got other things to do. There's a food thief hanging around the neighborhood. No way am I gonna let that culprit get away. I'm the only one who steals food around here. There he is! He's the one who stole my entire sardine and all of stock! Hand it back right now! Tom's the one you're after. Tom? Who's this Tom? Tom is Sam. Oh. But in fact, not Sam, but Tom who looks like Sam. See what I mean? That's enough! I know what I saw! Beware if I catch you anywhere near my food supply! Oh, oh boy, oh boy! I keep doing stuff I didn't do. This is horrible. Don't worry, Sam. The good thing is that we're on the right track. Apparently, Tom is the one pilfering the neighborhood's food supplies. The problem is, you're the one getting the stick. I mean, you're stuck with the blame. Well, whatever. All we have to do now is catch him. Sam, give me a chicken. Me? I don't have a chicken. It's OK, Sam. We all know you always have a chicken on you. But that's absurd. I've never had a chicken. Cut it out, Sam. Well, brother and sister, I've known you since the day I was born. Even in the forest, you always managed to hide food on yourself. 
And actually, we'd like to know how you do that. You guys know the neighborhood? I just turned up and when I heard you talking about chicken, whoa! But this is incredible! Who are you? You could be my twin brother! Look, we've got the same paws! <laughs> yeah, and we've got the same ears! <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me for interrupting your deeply moving encounter, but Tom, your name's Tom, right? Well, Tom, as I was saying, your master is very worried and she's out looking for you everywhere. You gotta go home! Are you kidding? The world is vast and I still have loads of places to explore. This is the first time in my life I've been outside and I'm as hungry as a boar. Yeah? Hey, if you're hungry, Come and have a snack at our place. The Living Stones are really welcoming and open. Oh, yes, come. We'll have a feast. There's loads to eat. Well, of course. I'll tag along. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. The resemblance is so amazing. You didn't say that Arlette was at your place. <laughs> Apart from one mole, those two are absolutely identical. <laughs> Phew! So our Sam's staying with us. What a relief! Let's celebrate! Here's a treat for all of you! Not you, Tom! You could choke or have an allergic reaction! Whittle Tom doesn't want a dreadful allergy, does he? Just because it's you, <laughs> Sam. This won't last for long. Thank you for everything. I'm so happy my little Tom is just fine. Congratulations, your pets are truly adorable. <laughs> Come on, little Tom Tom, time to go home. Freedom, comfort, and kibble heaven. Oh, mine. Oh, Sam, you ate everything up again? Oops. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with this. Uh, sorry, I thought I'd fed you. We had an agreement. Your share for one week. <laughs> hey, Sam! Come and join us! It's so comfy! No, <laughs> no deck chairs? What's got into him? <laughs> hey! What's different about you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? It's me. Right, I'm Sam. Look at my droopy Sam walk. Oh, I know. You cut your whiskers. <laughs> Phew. Come on, you've got to eat, Tom Tom. I ground everything up. That way there's no risk of you choking. <laughs> well done, little Tom Tom. As a reward, I got a surprise for you. Look how beautiful you'll be in this. I'm locking up all the doors and windows. That way, no risk of you wandering outside again. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> oh, no, Sam, not again. It's cool. I got this. Me. Oops, I forgot to feed you all again. Sorry. <laughs> Sam, stop that! <sighs> Wait a second, you'll get your kibble. Since when does Sam know how to purr? He's a boar! If Sam is purring, there's only one explanation. He's a cat! Oh no! Tom took Sam's place! Tom is Sam? I can't believe Tom actually did that! We gotta get rid of him before he settles in for good. To do that, we've gotta scare the daylights out of him. You think something can scare him enough to make him... Yes! We remove our costumes. When he sees us as wild beasts, Tom will take off to the end of the world. And who do we have here? Great to see you again, Sam. You remember what you owe us, right? Yeah, yeah, d -d 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 don't. Sam, if you don't give us back what you owe us, we're going to... I know what we're going to do with you. Listen, please, you're making a mistake. I'm not Sam. I swear, my name is Tom. That's a lie. We know you're Sam. Who would want to take his place? I swear, it's true. It's because of Mrs. R. Let It Be, my master. She never lets me go outside, and I love going outside. Don't hurt me. I'll take you to him. Walk on ahead. We'll follow. Here. 
I beg you, please don't hurt Arlette. She may seem hard, but she's good-hearted. You found me! Where are the keys? In her pocket, but I'll try to get them off her. I'll wake her up. Don't move! I'll go. <laughs> so, like, you never have any chicken on you, right, Sam? <laughs> yeah. Tom Tom, this time I thought of everything and I installed it. A... <laughs> a wolf! Help! A wolf? Help! Help! Where? Help! Yeah. Help! Leave my master alone! <laughs> 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 You saved me from that big bad wolf. All that time I thought I was protecting you, when in fact you are the one who protects me. <laughs> We're back together. We're back together. What's all this dancing about? They're together all the time. We're back together. We're back together. We're back together. <laughs> Looks like everything's sorted out now. And it's thanks to us. Right, Sam? <gasps> Sam, no! Sam, come back! <laughs> Sam! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Girls, it's not a game. The Livingstones are getting ready for Auntie Rachel to visit. Auntie Rachel? What's that? Auntie Rachels are a subspecies of humans who are a pain in the rear because they can't stand cats. <laughs> and dogs? Do they like dogs? <laughs> dogs? Seriously, Wash? Does anyone actually like dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Try and hang in there. It's only for a few days. I'm gonna prove to you that everybody loves dogs, Vic. Let the boss man do his shtick. And this should be a gas. Hey, Wash! Wash! <laughs> Washington! Bad dog, leave Auntie alone. Oh, now who is this splendid little creature? <laughs> oh no, my favorite pillow. No way is she Sit going to- Sit down here, my little BB. Ugh, I can't watch this. What a priceless treasure. The spitting image of Apricot. My darling BB when I was a little girl. Well, this one's our Washington. Sugar Auntie. Sugar, sugar, BB. Isn't that yummy, little BB? That was a good idea to get rid of that horrible critter you used to have. Boy, did she ever stink. Uh, what critter? Uh, Victoria? Uh, but we still have her, Auntie. In fact, I'll be honest, the family has gotten much bigger. Hey there, darlings. Come say hello to Auntie Rachel. <laughs> hey, you! Get lost, you disgusting creature, you! Show! Show! Ooh, and Auntie's off her rock! So you've got yourself three new stink balls? One wasn't enough? 
Sam, girls, go into the kitchen. We'll introduce you later, okay? Ta-da! Take a look at Auntie's BB, heavyweight hey. champion of the world! I win some sugar sugars too! Ah, when I hear the word sugar sugar, sorry guys, duty call! No, it's not fair! And all that because he's wearing a BB costume and we're not! Ah, uh, come on, quit soaking! Let's go play hide and go pig! Great idea! But it's Wash's turn to play wolf! Don't worry, we'll go get him! Last one there is a snake Sure, and it's my turn to play the wolf. Uh, 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 Pee You're not playing with those ugly little stink balls. Shoo, shoo, out of here. Mm, no way she's gonna stop us from playing hide and go pig with Wash. Is everything okay, Auntie? Things couldn't be worse. Those stink balls of yours are bothering my baby and me. We're going for a walk. Yeah? Uh, very well. Uh, have a nice walk? Have a nice walk? And where, pray tell, is the stroller? The... the... stroller? Well, of course! You don't think BB's going to walk on all fours, do you? And bring me his coat, too, please. <laughs> Washington? Washington? <laughs> you going to a costume party? Because I have never seen such a stuff. Whoa, check out Mommy's darling little doggy. Hey, sweetheart, you want to make some room in your taxi for us? <laughs> <laughs> Sugar galore is singing color. Sir Wash is leading the high life. He just doesn't have time to play hide and go pig with his friends anymore. He's got no choice, Sam. If we can only somehow console him. I've got an idea. Just make sure you're ready, okay? I've seen better days. Better? You've got a musical collar, sugar, sugar galore, go for a stroll in a stroller. You're a star, buddy, a star. What more do you want, a mountain of sausages? You just don't understand, Sam. We dreamed of all that, sure, but with Auntie Rachel, it's not a dream, it's a nightmare. I'd rather go back and live in the forest. Hey, cheer up. It'll be over soon. Auntie will leave and everything will go back to normal. Oh, what a pet! Yeah. If she thinks for one second she can fool Auntie Rachel, she's the dumbest bird I've ever seen! The first boat out of here tomorrow morning! We? You got it! Ribby and me! I'm certainly not leaving him in this circus with a bunch of thieves and stink balls! Certainly not, Auntie. Washington is part of our family! Very well then, I'll just have to move in here. I'll have my mail forwarded tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, you're right. It's going to be hard for us, but we really can't deprive Washington of a dream life with you. Go on. Washington? Washington! <laughs> <laughs> 
much worse than that. I eat him. I eat my best friend. <laughs> Sam, if you had eaten Wash, then you would have eaten his costume, too. Just like with pizza. You'd never leave the cross. Oh, there's a letter. It's from Wash. Dear friends, I love you so much. You're just awesome, all of you. But especially Susie, who is super, super charismatic. Well, what? I don't know how to read, so I interpret. Hey, that's a letter from Wash? His paw prints. He'd rather go back and live in the forest than with that crazy old bat? I don't believe it. He really left? Oh, poor Wash. We have to go find him. <gasps> We've got to first get rid of Auntie, otherwise Wash will never want to come home. But Auntie will never leave without her BB. If you're interested, I've got an idea. It's not like I really want to see Washington return to the house, but if it might help me get my favorite pillow back. Baby has disappeared, and I won't leave without him. My little baby, our boat is set to sail. Boy, is it ever hot. How about some fresh air, baby? Wash! Washington! Wash! Is that really you? I didn't meet you after all. Annie is going away. You can come back home now. Great! Where's my costume? Yeah, well, um, we should have it any minute now. Don't worry, we got everything totally under control. I heard that now they make you die kibble for cat. Do you really, really want me to get Wash's costume for you? Washington. We just dropped him like an old sock. We really are bad masters. Whoa. Whoa. Washington? Good dog! You came home. Oh no! But then Auntie's going to come back too! Mm -hmm. Here we are, Pepe! All we've got now is home, Pepe! Honey, we got a card from Annie Rachel. Can keep Wash, she says. She has just adopted an ostrich who reminds her of Cherry, the ostrich she had when she was a little girl. See, Wash, but if she comes back one day. Yes, yeah, Sam, promise. You can still keep the collar. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... Don't you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? Oops. That's 
so sweet of you, Mrs. Livingstone. Thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Allergic to cats. Sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of. <gasps> hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. But you better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cat hair, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah. Precisely. And He's that's why Donald isn't sneezing. <laughs> and why His Highness is allowed inside. We're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> it's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Some cats have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. You were saying... You've got a big metal scar in your chest. I was operated on for appendicitis, too. Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see. No! Everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. Yeah, why not? I like that groove. Because he's gonna figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't want to go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're gonna have rain every day. <laughs> Let them play together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat, bad dog! <laughs> it's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on, go. <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. Sam, be nice, will you? Enough is enough! 
Come on, let's go play doctor! <laughs> Stop, you mean bad doggy! You're gonna ruin my kid again! <laughs> Washington! Stop it, will you? <laughs> you do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're gonna give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide and say, ah! <laughs> Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat. Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had a cat of my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> Bad dog! Never find us in here. Hey there! I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea! Really? Of course not! I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey! You've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly! Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. The answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. Mm -hmm. And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer. For the whole summer. You're way lighter than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat! That's not Sam! Meow? And that's not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! <laughs> to be okay, Donald. No! I'm going to catch a cold now! I'll get you a sweater right away. Uh, can you lend us a towel and a hair dryer? Get out of the costume, Vic! Hey, your paw! Hurry up! Uh. Uh. What a monster! I want to go home! <laughs> What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? <laughs> oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? Sorry, a deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? No way. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
but the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ta-da! Fresh clean outfits coming up! <laughs> Got it, got it, got it! Breathe in deeply. Listen to your inner voice. My inner voice. Ah, hey! Oops, missed it. Sorry, Victoria. Spring kibble scent. I <laughs> say this is the good life, wouldn't you? You bet it's the good life. Oh, yeah. We're living the, the good, good life. life. We're living the, the good, good life. life. So who? So who? So who's gonna have a feast? Our little sweeties are! Our little keys! Huh? Hey! What's going on? Oh! Poor little guy! He looks abandoned! Aww. We're living the good We're living the good Car! Uh-oh! Disguises! Hey, did these shrink or what? We're home, little darlings. And now we have a new addition to our family. <laughs> we found him on the street, abandoned. Here is Poppy, your new little friend. Oh, what a cute little thing. Wow, a little brother. <laughs> That's cool. Take good care of him. Poor little kid. <laughs> We're going to get you a bowl of kibble. A huge bowl of kibble. Be careful, Wash. My inner voice tells me that that little puppy is not as cute as he seems. My shackles rose as soon as he came into the room. Poppy? But he's too cute for words. Your inner voice is mistaken, Vic. Hey, puppy kiddo. Let me show you around your new home. <sighs> And there on your left is the softest bed in the entire house. Demonstration. <laughs> uh, hey, you're a little prankster, huh? Cool it, Daddy. There's only room for one dog in this house, and that dog is me. Soon I'll be the master of the entire household. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? <laughs> Stop, guys! Watch out! Poppy! Ferocious pup! What are you talking about? No, seriously, I mean it! Check out his fangs! <laughs> well, you're right, Quash. That pup has a ferocious appetite. Never seen anything like it. Hey, tummy bump, kid! Wait a sec. This is not what I was trying to say. What Wash was trying to say is that this is not at all what I expected. I thought I'd found a home and some kibble, but in fact, I found friends. Yeah, that little squirt's so annoying. Oh, he is so cute. I told you so. Should have listened to my inner voice. One, two, three, four. They are my friends. My house. And it's gonna stay that way. Guess who's turning up on the street later? The dog pound service. Bye-bye, kid. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay, little puppy? <laughs> I can explain all this. <laughs> Wash said that there was only room for one dog in the house. That's oh. why you wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? You did that, Wash? No. I, I mean, yes. I, I can explain everything. You say you're sorry right now. Promise you'll never ever do that again, or else. Hmm. Sorry, Poppy. Won't happen again. Cute. 
Oh, so we can all play together again. Yippee! Yay! Time for me to take care of you. Your friends will soon be obeying Master Poppy. <laughs> Dream on, Squirt. <laughs> Smells like kibble. Oh, that's odd. It's not dinner time yet. <laughs> Hmm. Huh? Oh! Just you wait till Mr. Livingstone sees this! Hey! I don't believe it! Wash! Again, Wash? Oh, poor Poppy. Come here. You won't get me this time, you little squirt. What's going on now, Wash? Huh? And you're proud of that? You bad dog, you're punished. You're staying in the doghouse, and you are not allowed to play with your friends until we get home. <sighs> oh, the poor guy, all by himself. Yeah, and it's thanks to me, you ninnies. Yeah? Let's get into you, Poppy. From now on, it's Master Poppy, Nitwit, and you'd better obey my every word. Otherwise, you're out, like your friend. Sam, do something! Yeah, uh, so you think we're scared of a fluffy little pup like you? Uh, uh, yeah, well, actually we are, but I can be ferocious too. After all, I'm a wild boar. A wild boar? What wild boar? Right here in front of you, Pipsqueak! You... you're not a real cat? <laughs> no, I'm a wild beast! And not only me, Washington and Susie and Eugenie are wild too! <laughs> Which means if you don't obey me, I can blow your cover? <laughs> That's even better! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> hey! Who does this miniature flea bag think he is? Oh, feeling unhappy about something, princess? <laughs> Out of here! Right now! <gasps> Uh-oh, he threw you out too? No, he didn't, Sam did. All your buddies are now slaves to Master Poppy. Huh? Well, how is that possible? Sam told him that you are all wild animals. He's got you under his thumb. Oh, Sam, what have you done now? And uh, how do you intend to get rid of that perverse pup? By revealing his true nature to the Living Stones. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I got a plan. Listen up. That is so cool. Uh, you here? How dare you come back into my house? It's time to reveal little Poppy's real face. Yuck! If the Living Stone saw this, 
this wild-looking creature. They chase it out of the house immediately. <laughs> Now we'll see who the wild beast is! <laughs> Give me back my bunny hat right now! Oh no! We're done for! Wait a minute, Shorty. I think it's time to have a little chat. You never fail to surprise me. I promise, next time, we'll listen to your inner voice. <sighs> it's better this way. Poppy will be happy in that home for little puppies who are, uh, traumatized. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor thing. It must be abandoned. Five is enough! Huh? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. bark worth a hoot after all this time. How ridiculous is that? Gracie Appleseed? See that, Wash? It's a present for us. Uh, no, wrong address. It's the house just next door. Oh, I'm sure that was a box full of kibble and Gracie will never share them with us. Uh, Sam, humans don't eat kibble. Humans maybe not, but kids do. They eat them for breakfast with milk. I saw it on TV. Sam, I'll bet you a whole roasted chicken that's not kibble. Ah. <laughs> you won't catch me! You won't catch me! It wasn't kibble. And to think that I just lost a roasted chicken. Boy, this day is off to a bad start. No, Sam. Now that Alfie and Gracie have a tablet, they're gonna spend all their time on it. Meaning, they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Animal. Hamsterus stupidicus. Health. Good. Intelligence, very limited. Whoa! Did you see that, Alfie? With this hair test, I'm gonna be able to find out everything about all the animals in the neighborhood! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, huh? Vincent isn't very sharp. Right, Wash? Wash? Come on! We'll do a test on Fat Cat! Where do you see a fat cat? That's you, Sam! Run! <laughs> Come here, kitty cat! Come here! Cats know how to climb trees, and I am a real cat! Hmm? Uh -huh. 
am, Eugenie, Susie. You are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. If Gracie and Alfie run their test on us, our goose is cooked. Goose? You mean we'll get fried goose? <sighs> no, Sam. It's just an expression. We're the geese. That hair test will know that the hair from our costumes is fake, and Alfie and Gracie will unmask us. Oh, that's no fun. What are we going to do inside? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> Sam! Hey, move, Sam. We can't see anything. Sorry, but I really, really had to go eat something. Now the screen is super clean. But I'm starving. are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. Unless, of course, it's in order to save a roasted chicken in distress. ta -da! Welcome back, kitty. Sam, check it out. It looks like Vic dressed as a granny. <laughs> Sam? Sammy? Oh. <laughs> Error, unknown species. Error. Unknown Maybe species. it's a species that hasn't been discovered yet. You will be put in touch with a specialist. Please hold the line. <laughs> it's irresistible, isn't it? <laughs> Can you please come? We've discovered an unknown species of an animal thanks to our hair test. Oh, I'm not a unicorn. Listen, I don't have time for childish behavior. I told you, teaming up with that toy company was a stupid idea. Wait a second. Unknown species. Yeah. Unknown species. Just think about it, Vladimir. This is a chance of a lifetime for you to win the Nobel Prize for veterinarians. So oh, come now. You can't be serious, Velma. What if this species is dangerous? But just imagine a new species carrying your name. The Vladimirius Quadrupedus Rex. You'll be famous throughout the world. Go on, Vladimir. This is your chance to prove your genius. Maintain the specimen in captivity. I'm on my way. <laughs> Sam's been captured. The veterinarian is on his way to examine him. Ah, Sam's going to be sent back to the forest? Not oh. if we work as a team. I've got an unbeatable plan. You stall the vet while I go ask a favor from Vic. Something she'll never be able to refuse. No. Oh, you're joking. Why, I thought that... No <laughs> means no. But but I just need a few of your hairs to replace those of Sam's for the hair test to make the vet believe Sam's a real cat. Sorry, I just hate it when my hair gets pulled out. Forget it. Find yourself another plan. But I don't have another plan. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Quick, Eugenie, use your super jumping rabbit power. <laughs> Oh, Is that dog gone crazy or what? That's quite enough, Vladimir. Stop behaving like a child. You're being ridiculous. I assure you, Velma, this door has a bad case of the flu. Do you think the vet has given up? For sure. We're way too strong for him. Maybe he'll never ever dare to go outside again. Gracie, what do you do with an unknown animal species? Well, you put them in cages and run scientific experiments on them. And then you open them up to see what they're made of inside. Hey, Sam! Vic told me that humans just can't resist a cat that purrs, and then the cat can do whatever it wants. Do you know how to purr? You're joking, I hope. That's my specialty. Purr! Purr! Huh? Two one-way signs? This city has gone completely mad. We did it! He's stuck! Yippee! Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Maybe one way the wrong way going forward, but not backwards. <laughs> noises he's making? Unknown animal no. sound. Try again. Awesome! It's got a voice recognition app, too! Forget the purring, Sam! Just try meowing! If the hair test recognizes your meow, you'll be identified as a cat! Meow! Meow! Unknown and aggressive <sighs> roar. Unidentified and dangerous species. Reinforced security required. <laughs> Yes. <sighs> Sam, 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 No, I said yes, meaning that yes, I know that Wash's unbeatable plan did not work. Did you seriously think huh? I was going to tear out my hair to make him happy? But then the veterinarian is going to realize that Sam is not a real cat. And he'll want to run the test on us too. And we'll all be sent back to the forest. Okay, all right, I'll help you. <gasps> But there is no way you're pulling one single hair out of me, okay? Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Coming! <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'm gonna find a solution. All we have to do is, uh... Here, put this in the hair test. Vic, you... you... you pulled out your hair for Sam? Are you nuts? But that's the Livingstone's cat. It's not a cat. Look at the hair test results. Unknown, unclassified species of feline, humanoid, lupus canny, reptilian. Uh. Error, huh? error, error. Uh. 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 Whose idea was to invent such a silly toy? Nothing compared to the expert opinion of an expert. My conclusion is definitive. This poor beast is nothing but an ordinary cat that you have traumatized. Oh, but don't worry, he'll get over it. This game really stinks. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. Being a cat myself, I know how difficult it must have been for you to tear out some of your hair for... I didn't tear out any hair. I got them out of the vacuum cleaner. But it seems there was a wide variety of hair in there. Not bad. Which just means that maybe you and I should collaborate more often, Vic. Only in your dreams, Wash. Error. Unknown species. Unknown species. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Cat who plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch kibble. Woohoo! Meow, meow. Want your Kitty Munch kibble, Sam? <laughs> Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow, meow. You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? Mm -hmm. You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibblebick, will you let me win? No, 
You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24-7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm gonna help you. We're gonna turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat, okay? Sam, you're the best. <laughs> Are you joking? Nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. Whoa, you see her? She's a knockout. No, no, no. Too wishy-washy. Next. Not bad. He stays. Not bad. I can never do as good Next. as him. Ah, let's get this over with. Wow, amazing. She stays for sure. Next. Hmm. No, I don't want to go. I'll never make it. Of course you will. Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you wait. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's incredible, hilarious. We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way. <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it. I'll take a look through there. Mm. Oh. Huh? But the window's open. Let me go. Taste test! Take it away! Eat your kibble! I love the fat funny cat! He's our guy! Take five, everybody! Then we roll! Who's the funny cat that won? Where is he? It's you, Sam! You won! Me? But I'm not fat! But I know I sure am funny! <laughs> This audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done. Great job. So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so you've been acting for a while then. I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Look, Susie, there he is! Oscar! 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 Can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Mr. Oscar? <gasps> Look, you genie! Huh. Yeah, okay, everything here is fake. It's pathetic! Oscar probably doesn't even exist! This was perfect! Thanks, Oscar! It's in the cast! <laughs> We're shooting in five! Ah! Have you 
seen Sam? Of course I have. In my dreams. He was riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we went playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way! If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam. Quick! Okay, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security! Get him back here as fast as you can. Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security, we just lost our new kibble star. Can you do something? Okay, we'll, we'll take, take care of it. Well, I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade. Oh, yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed! <laughs> <laughs> huh, what in the... Oh, no! Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> you supply a kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner! <laughs> it's not fair! Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam, another squeeze and we're done. Sam, wash? Hurry along, if Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his. <laughs> a paw? I knew you were just a silly bumpkin. Your days in advertising are over, sunshine. <laughs> It's coming from there. <laughs> there! A boy with a doll! Hey! Stop! Stop! Still no sign of the funny cat? No, security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to care with the other guy. Look! It's him! It must be! It's him! Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Of course, with pleasure. My fans mean everything to me. Shoot, I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me, we'll soon change that. <laughs> Solution. Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam? What? What are you doing here? Why are you taking your costume <laughs> off, Sam? <laughs> you have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> when I started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mom's the word. Security! Anyone in there? Isn't that the fat cat they told us to find? Come on, kitty cat, you're coming along with us. Yeah. Hey, wasn't that the dog who was hanging out with the boar? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hmm? Hmm. There you go, girls. Oh, thank you, Oscar. And cut! That's our boy! Awesome! A million times better than that Z-list celebrity. I'll get you back for this! Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the camel with crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? It's We have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hear that, darling? Sounds like the engine's wearing out. You think so? I hope we don't break down before we get to the vets. <laughs> Pointless, pathetic, incompetent. Get out and don't come back until you know how to heal animals, Vladimir. Get a grip on yourself and man up. You see that? Looks like the vet has been thrown out of his own clinic. Yay! New more annual checkups. What's happened, Doctor? <sighs> Val was right. I'm incapable, pointless, useless, a dead weight in this world, ashamed of my profession. Don't say that! I am, I am, I hate my job. I'd never have become a vet if my mom hadn't forced me to. My big dream was to become a Tibetan flutist. Everything will be fine, Vladimir. Go on home and take- But this is my home. I haven't anywhere else to go. Mommy! <laughs> We'll take care of you, you'll see. In a few days, you'll be raring to go again. Come and hang out with our lovable little fur balls for a while. I'm sure they'll put a smile back on your face. We gotta get out of here before that monster sees behind our disguise. We head back to the Living Stones once he's gone. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Look, they're so excited about showing you around the house, they jumped out before we poured! Okay, we're trapped. Keep your distance and make sure the vet does not see your zippers, okay? What kind of distance? I don't know. Two yards? Two and a half? Hmm? That's about 20, 25 sausages end to end, Sam. Or 250 sitting in a line. Let's go play with our darlings in the yard. You'll see, it'll cheer you up to no end. In you go, sweetie pies. Hi! Everybody run for cover! <laughs> uh, fluffy babies? I bet I scared them away. No, they're only playing hide and seek. Call for them, and they'll soon come running. Uh, uh Philadelphia! Not bad. He is named after a city, but not that one. The name's Washington. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paddington, uh, Pab, Lucy, uh, Zucchini. Uh, close. It's Washington, Sam, Susie, and Eugenie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Washington, Sam, Eugenie, Susie. It's a trap. Yeah. Don't move! Oh. They probably didn't hear you. I haven't cleaned their ears out in over a month. Sweetie pies? Here they are. Look how pleased they are to see you. How about we all go play ball? They love playing ball. Uh, don't move, okay? Go on, throw. You go first. <laughs> see, they don't want to play with me. It's obvious. You have to throw the ball further. Look, like this. <laughs> I am so sorry. Are you okay? Can you hear me? <laughs> I want my mommy. How about we play vet, huh? You like that, playing vet? It's a game he's sure to win. It'll give his confidence a huge boost. Mr. Livingstone, you are a genius. Mm -hmm. I never want to hear anyone mention that job again. Never. I'm packing it in right this minute. That means we never have to worry about him again, Wash. That's what he wants us to think. But it's a trap. Mm. A trap to get us closer to him. On your guard. You can be proud of yourselves. Thanks to you, poor Vladimir has packed in his brilliant career as a vet. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I warn you, if you don't give him a big hug right this minute, you won't have any kibble. I'll give you five minutes. It's blackmail. Don't give in to it. That's how it all starts. First, zero kibble. Then, you gotta sleep outside. Finally, you wind up at the dog pound. Or worse, back in the forest. Hmm. Okay, Sam. Go give the vet a big hug. Why 
me. Because, uh, go on, I'll explain later. Okay, but don't forget this time, all right? Or else I'll get to thinking you're taking me for a ride. Hmm? TV is better with pictures, don't you think? Say, I'm gonna show you my favorite program. Uh, uh, stop! Huh? Look! It's Imatan Tabakuk, the famous Tibetan flute player. Listen to that. What talent, what beauty. Absolutely, it's remarkable, sublime. Soon it's time for my favorite Shh. Uh, huh. Meow. Sam, give him a hug. Jump on his lap, quick, or goodbye kibble forever. <laughs> Ah, a cat! Disgusting! It'll give me fleas! Get out of... Uh, oh, what soft fur! Oh, it feels like acrylic! Fake acrylic fur! See that, honey? Vladimir's got his smile back. So what? Hmm? Because of him, I can't even watch my favorite program! Come on, the main thing is he's perked up a little. And with Sam, he's sure to soon start feeling better and better. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'll make you another one. <laughs> What's gotten into you? That's our family photo album. <laughs> Hello, there are people waiting out here, and you've been in there for hours. Okay, okay, it's all yours. Anyway, there's no more hot water left. <laughs> That Vladimir is really getting on my nerves. Come on, honey. We can't just throw him out. At least he's not sleeping in our bed, huh? Ah! Ah! He's gone too far. He has to go. It's time for him to go back to the clinic. You know he doesn't want to be a vet anymore. Well, I'm going to teach him the joy of curing sick animals. You'll see. What are you going to do? Our babies are in perfect health. Girls, wake Look! up! We have a situation! I was in the oven, and what I heard... What are you doing in the oven in the middle of the night? Well, after they've roasted chicken, I love licking the sides of the oven. Oh, boy. But hey, that's not the issue. I was in the oven, and I heard the living stones plotting in the kitchen. They want to put something in our kibble to make us sick, so that then the vet can make us better. Whatever you do, don't swallow a thing, okay? Sam, where are you going? I want something to eat. <sighs> Sleep makes you hungry. Sorry, Sam. Too long to explain. But from now on, you got to stop eating anything. What? Stop eating? <laughs> Sam! My little Sammy boy, answer me! Call the vet, quick! But you're the vet. I gave up that career, as you well know. And anyway, I threw away all my instruments. I picked them out of the trash can. Any other questions? Hmm, how does this work again? You put it on the heart. Not on your uh -oh. heart, Sam's heart. And you put the other end in your ears. No, <sighs> you've got to put those bits in your ears. It's pointless. I'll never manage. It's been so long since I gave up. It was only yesterday. That bed is pathetic. He's never going to cure Sam. The only thing that can cure him is to eat. Susie, let me remind you that the Living Stones have doctored all the food to make us sick. Are you sure about that? As sure as two plus two makes six. Four. <laughs> two plus two makes four, you jelly brain. The Living Stones haven't poisoned anything. Not the kibble, not the canned food, nothing, nada, zilch. I think they have. Can you tell me why you're all covered in red spots, Vic? Huh? Can you? It's makeup, knucklehead. The Living Stones want to make the vet think that I'm sick so then he can cure me, build up his self-confidence, and clear on out. This means we can give Sam something to eat. We could put him in a cast. Mm -hmm. That could work. Why? He hasn't broken anything. We'll have more luck with a medical encyclopedia. Let's see now, where are we? Camel? Caribou? Ah, ah here we are. Mm -hmm. I'm awake. You'll never believe it. I dreamt I was eating kibble. It was awesome. What a fascinating book, don't you think? If I'd known all this, I might have been a better vet. Meow, meow. Sam, I don't believe it. I cured him. 
I'm a genius of animal medicine. It's plain to see. How has the world managed without my talent for so long? I've made up my mind. I'm taking up my stethoscope again, and I'll base my clinic here. Here we'll put the waiting room, and here my treating room. It's gonna be cutting edge, high tech, state of the art. What do you think? How about you head back to your clinic instead? Oh. <laughs> Velma, it's me. I'm going back to work. Medicine needs me. Vladimir cured our cat without so much as touching him. It was phenomenal, exceptional. You must take him back. Mm -hmm. I know you'd get your old touch back, Vladimir. Welcome home. Incidentally, I believe you have an appointment for your adorable little animals. Oh, really? No, 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 no. Just a routine checkup. Thank you. Goodbye. <gasps> I think I've had enough of vets for one day. <laughs> that was close. Boy, am I ever happy he's out of the house. I got to kind of like him. No, I can't wait for the next appointment. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. What's up, Wash? Aren't you having breakfast with us? Oh, you didn't sleep a wink last night. Yeah? Hey! Whoa! Ever thought of packing on a beauty mask? Or at least a little facial scrub? Yeah! A mud mask will do miracles! Enough already! I think someone is spying on us. Oh, yeah? Why? I don't know. Maybe someone who knows we're not who we pretend to be and who's gonna blackmail us or worse, denounce us to the animal pound! Talk about paranoia. I always thought you watched too many spy films. A fox's nose is never, ever wrong. Honey, it's a done deal. The new neighbor has agreed. Super! That granny cupcake is such a sweetie. <sighs> and here we go again. What? Oh, no! It all makes sense now. You guys still don't get it. The Living Stones are undercover spies. They've just been contacted for a mission. Oh, no! Oh, that's ridiculous. They're only leaving for the weekend, and someone is going to look after us. It's just our new neighbor, Granny Cupcake. Oh, hello there, my little friends. I've heard so much about you. Boy, she looks shady. Oh, please. She's just a sweet old lady, and you've been watching too many movies, Wash. I brought you treats! Whoa. See you You're later, going guys. to be in excellent hands. No, don't leave! We're in danger! <laughs> You see, Wash? There was nothing to worry about. We've never been so spoiled. She even knitted us a hammock. I just love Granny Cupcake. I swear she's hiding something. Believe me. Let's go rummage through her stuff. <sighs> Listen, Wash, I've had it up to my whiskers. I'd rather take another nap than continue listening to you spouting garbage. 
<laughs> Granny Cupcake is trying to divide the ranks. That's so she can chew, wash, and enjoy. Well, if that's how it is, I'm gonna rummage through her stuff on my own. <clears throat> She has to be hiding something. Ah! All right. Now that everyone is awake, everybody get inside on the double. Ah! you she was shady. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am the only Lieutenant General authorized. Or, if you prefer, O-L-G-A, Olga. And don't pretend you don't know what I'm saying because I know you know. <laughs> Excellent. So, I am a secret agent specialized in the art of disguise. Just see for yourself. Now, as you are going to see, I have been spying on you for quite some time. And I know everything! Oh, we're as good as back in the forest, guys! Mm -hmm. Under no circumstance do I want to send you back to the forest. What? She understands what we're saying? Yes, I do. I graduated summa cum laude in animal language, which makes it practical for recruiting you. Recruiting us? To do what? We have noticed your ability to pass yourselves off as pets and infiltrate this human household. You have shown great potential for becoming animal spies. Animal spies? Household pets make for awesome spies. Indeed, who would ever suspect them? No one, especially if they don't talk. Whoa! A whole new life awaits you, my future comrades! <laughs> Some vitamin powered kibble, courtesy of the government. <laughs> you are going to need to be in tip top shape before your mission begins. Can you believe it? We are secret agents! I've never eaten such delicious kibble. It's pretty cool living off the government, huh? Uh, what exactly is the government anyway? Washington, what a surprise! <laughs> Sweet dreams, buddy! Finally, I'll be able to put all of my talents to work. Physical and mental. This is the dream of a lifetime. Boy, we're going to have fun! Yeah, it's as if we were all going on vacation together! Oh, yeah! Well then, uh, what should I pack? Hmm, this one is bigger, but I prefer the color of this one. This one. This one, and... No, no, not that one. This one. But you don't even know how to read, Wash. Yeah, well, that never stopped me from appreciating great literature. Ah, I found Victoria in the laundry room. It's just awful. She is... She has to sleep. Cats are indeed fascinating creatures. I have never, ever seen anyone nap so soundly. Yep, <laughs> and she won't be waking up anytime soon. I gave her a tranquilizer that would knock out a blue whale. But that's, but that's horrible. horrible! Victoria! Now just calm down and march back to the living room. Someone is going to be picking you up very soon. There can't be any witnesses. <laughs> We can't leave without saying goodbye to Victoria. Silence! You are going to have to learn to shut up and listen. What in the world is that mess in that suitcase? You are forbidden to have any of your old belongings in your new life. This is how you are going to be traveling. I'll send you to headquarters. 
There, you'll receive your equipment and be sent to your new assignments. <laughs> North Pole for Sam. But it's cold up there. The Amazon for Susie. But I'll get swallowed whole by a giant snake. Australia for Eugenie. But I'm allergic to kangaroos. And finally, England for Washington. Oh, no. It rains there all the time. I hate the rain. But this means that we're not leaving together. We're going to be separated. Uh, thank you, Olga, for having thought of us for such a prestigious job, but uh, it's just not our style. Hey there. Not so fast, little guy. If you don't want to go on your missions, I shall be obliged to reveal your true identity. <laughs> so what is it? Mission or animal pound? Oh, no! Not the pound! Well, then, let's get a move on. <laughs> I am so happy to see that you are being reasonable. Listen, I've got a plan. We warn the mailman once we're in the van, okay? Great idea! Oh, I forgot to tell you. This box is totally soundproof, thanks to soundproofing material that interestingly enough smells like cupcakes. <laughs> but I'm getting off topic. What you must remember is that no one will be able to hear you scream. Yep. We're trapped like a bunch of rats. Yee! What's that noise? Hey there, gang. Did you miss me? How did you do that, Vic? What about that whale tranquilizer? The old pill in the cat food trick? Ha! <laughs> what an amateur. I knew the old lady had a trick up her sleeve, so I pretended to be asleep in order to jump in at the right moment. Wow! Thanks a ton, Vic. I just love cupcakes. <laughs> ha! The mailman! Hmm. Oh, 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 cupcake. oh, just look at that. How cute they are. We'll be there in just a sec, darlings. <laughs> Frankly, Victoria, if there's one of us who deserves to be a spy, it's you. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Confession to make. I love you. It's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here, and majority rules. It's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. The brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need! With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes! My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries! Wow! Silly! What do we do with their old costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cuz the future is now! Super invisible! I even feel like this is my real fur! You? I can't get this unstuck! <laughs> 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 
The magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful. Quick, everyone outside! Ah! Whew, just in time. This is worse than super glue. Uh, if this continues, the neighbors are going to get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. <laughs> Uh-oh. Washington, Sam, give me that chicken right this second! That's a radish, not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the... That's us! <laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried... Chicken? Yeah. Me? Me? Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. Easy! <laughs> 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 not a dodo bird. Those voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> It's the raccoon gang! They took our costumes so they could pretend to be us! Yeah, well, we'll see about that! Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters! Imposters? <laughs> who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on. Makes you look fat. Go on, get lost. Go back to your forest, you losers. These are our costumes now, and that is our life. <laughs> we put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke. This time we're goners. It's back to the forest. <laughs> no, no way are we gonna let them take over our lives. Yeah? They're gonna find out what we're really made of. Yeah, we're gonna show them I'm not a dodo bird. This time you've gone too far, raccoon. Hey guys, I think these bozos didn't quite Catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Huh? Our beloved little pets, they're 
are being attacked by wild animals. Huh? Yeah! Ah! Go back to the forest, you nasty beasts! <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay, so I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things better now, darlings? We're gonna let you get some rest now. Poor guys. I bet we really did scare them. <sighs> Do you seriously think we're gonna let you choose channels? <sighs> Not us in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons! They stole our costumes! You've got to help us! Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. Hey, guys, you hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly. And you'll see, my plan is going to work. <laughs> What's more, the living stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the bath robot enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? My heart is wavering. Oh, yeah. oh, come on. Only 137 more episodes. I have a confession to make. I love you. Oh. Oh. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep 
our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing, singing in, in the, the Shower, shower. The, the show that gets, gets your morning rocking. And with no further ado, <laughs> let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom. <laughs> Would it drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? <laughs> First of all, we know how to sing. That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off. Way, way, way off. And too loud, so... Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in Dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good job. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest! Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Oh, what is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is called. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey, I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it. And don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. And every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm gonna be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. 
by listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Livingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? No, that's a lion. I can't believe it, Wash. Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play. Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that. And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in. Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. <laughs> oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no, I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on. A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no, your genie. And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest. How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant? What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! You genie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke. That song was pre-recorded. Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified. Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin. The jury is getting impatient. <laughs> oh, cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary, but... What in the world is this bizarre specimen? Fly away, Eugene, uh -huh. quick! He's going to discover your disguise! Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey! Why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird, or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. Sure? It's our only chance! Susie's not a real canary? What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, I'll be. Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin. Can you believe that? I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, um, uh, human, you know? Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fugue in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Do you have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works. We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin. This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich. Amazing. Don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> On three we jump. One, two, Hmm. Uh huh? No. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Uh huh? It's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah! <laughs> Sam, get out of here! Hmm. Looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! <laughs> Honey! Oh. I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? 
incredible. Ah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. Yeah. Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal. <gasps> And your zipper is metal, like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine. And so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for. Yeah, you reckon? I know we are. We have no place here. So, what are we gonna do, Wash? Mm. I know, while there's still time, oh. we've gotta watch TV. We have to stop him digging. <laughs> Yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing off. You. Yeah. Right, here we go. Here's pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. huh? Gracie went back into the house and took her toy with her. What do we do now? I know, we'll make like Father Christmas. You mean we get some tiny weird guys with pointy hats to make the toy for us? And then we wait for the snow so they can deliver it to us? No! We head down the chimney! Ah! Great idea! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing there. Hmm. That's impossible. Uh oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> hmm. Oh, Mr. Cat! If only your zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro. Okay, right, don't panic. There must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Sam! Water. What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Mm, Sam and Kibble. Huh? What Kibble? You, oh, no. Why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of Kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any Kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam, you are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're gonna hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Ha! Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh. It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Mm. <laughs> ah! Shiny! 
shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Bush? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. Uh, what? Uh oh. Ah! Uh -huh. ah. that bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam? Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh, no! Yeah. Sam? Yeah. Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey! <laughs> Sam! Okay, Sam. Ha! Ah, yeah. There they are, my pretty little treasure thieves. Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh, acorns and a cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! You are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater! I thought it was lost forever! Thanks! This is the best treasure you could ever find! Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. How we doing, girls? Still eight minutes and 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long. Huh? You, lots of action. It's suspense. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring. Why did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV onto ourselves! 
<laughs> okay, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. <laughs> No! No! Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Sam! Hey, what? You're the one who swallowed the ring! Not to mention the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Living Stones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. <laughs> the cake is ready! Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're going to see in us? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> okay, a little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. An elevator? Hmm. Uh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find another way. <laughs> so, Sam, is it coming or what? <laughs> Did you get the ring? Did ya? Look! My favorite toy! It's amazing! I was sure it was lost forever! <laughs> that ring right this second, we're all goners! Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little louding right about now? I hate you all. That, x-rays, zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. Mm -hmm. Everything okay in there, Susie? I'm Good luck, little one! Huh? Wow! Did you find the ring? No! It's not gonna be easy! You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach! You were what? Awesome! Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful! Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie, this is no time to play piano. The ring! All right. Oops. I'll continue looking. <laughs> We're here, Susie. Quick, hurry up. Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? Uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. <laughs> you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh. You know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But there's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back! My uh, precious uh, ring! Do you understand? No, uh, uh, 
Oh, very well then. Uh, no problem. <laughs> what I should do is go verify the instructions manual. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But... But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We yeah. have to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Ugh, and now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> uh -huh. So? Nothing. It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Mm -hmm. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before. And it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true. But you really do eat a lot. You're right. And it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Ah. Uh, right, so uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Yeah. My little Susie, perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. Huh? You are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <coughs> hmm. Ah, Velma! <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button! And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week. The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. Hmm, no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm. What do you mean, fat? Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now. Quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So, uh -oh. did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh. <laughs> wow! Your ring was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? <laughs> Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. <sighs> Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
<laughs> Am I dreaming? Or are our pets getting really, really huge? Yeah, I may have been going a bit heavy on the portions lately. <laughs> I hear the call of the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what is that huge thing? A kibble! It's all stuck inside! Give me back my kibble! Right. Let's just calm down and tranquilly analyze the situation. Do you think you'll come out? Mm -hmm. Three crummy kibbles? <laughs> Looks like our brand new super kibble dispenser has them intrigued. With a diet like this, they'll slim down in no time. Let's let them savor their breakfast. What? That's it? They can't do that to us! Calm down, Sam. We may as well help ourselves to the supply stock. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Huh? They're all locked? We're off to work. See you this evening. What? Five hours and 54 minutes? Oh, no! We have to wait five hours and 54 minutes before dinner! Uh, we'll never get it open! We're goners! And these silly costumes which are too tight. Well, since we got no food... With Flying Pizza Delivery, your dreams become reality. Order your XXL pizza now by just punching the OK button on your remote control. Two each. <laughs> Your order has been confirmed. Like pizza at your own <laughs> service? <laughs> Wild animals! <laughs> uh, the delivery guy. Phew! He's breathing. He's just unconscious. So we've got to get rid of him immediately. Besides, he saw us without our costumes. Coast is clear. Whoa, hang on. What's that noise in his trunk? Have you received your delivery? Push one to confirm. You have not confirmed. Flying Pizza will send an emergency team in nine, eight, seven. Oh no, no, they're on their way! Five, We're goners! Three, two. Phew! Congratulations! You have been given a new delivery. <laughs> it awaits you at the Flying Pizza Dispatch. Push one to confirm. <laughs> your next delivery has been confirmed. The Flying Pizza Dispatch Center awaits your arrival. Right, we've got no choice then. No way can Flying Pizza find out. Yeah, if their emergency team shows up, they're gonna find their delivery boy out cold. And what's more, discover our real identities. Remember, he saw us without our costumes. Straight ahead, and then you take the next right. He's still asleep, that's a good sign. A hairpin turn? You said it was straight ahead! Ah! Ah! Right! So anyways, there! You turn right! Uh, no, left! Oh, sorry! Uh, I was holding it upside down! <laughs> ah! 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 What's going on with you? You're late, and you took long enough to confirm at the last delivery. Do you think it's gonna work? 
you're not a very talkative. Now listen up, kiddo. No more being late. You do your job fast, and you do it well. Capiche? Otherwise, I send in the emergency team, and believe me, you don't want to see those guys unless you want to wind up as a topping on the next pizza. <laughs> Whoa, this job sure isn't easy. Yum, pizza toppings. Right. I take your silence as a yes. Mm. New order in process of being delivered. Mozzarella, anchovies, capers, mushrooms, olives. Sam, watch, quick! We're running super late! Hey, where is Sam? What do you want, you filthy mutt, you? Hey, come back, will you? Give me back my pizza doll! Sam, no! <laughs> Get over this bridge! Come on, let's go! We're gonna make it! Oh no! The bridge is rising! We gotta make it across! Otherwise, we'll never make it in time! I can't watch! That's great. So we deliver the pizza, and that's that. Right on time. What is that? It looks like the house of the... Veterinarian! What in the world is my special flying pizza with extra pepperoni and sausage and oyster toppings going to get here? I'm not going in. Me neither. Come on, a bit of courage, guys. A man who likes pizza can't be all that bad. And besides, we've got no choice. Otherwise, the emergency team turns us into toppings. Come on, let's go. Ah! <laughs> oh, late again. If they're not here in 30 seconds, I'm calling the Flyer Pizza's emergency hotline. Quick! We gotta deliver the pizza! We can't let him make that call! to you, young man. Hmm. Lackluster fur. Snout is dry. Hmm. You lack vitality, energy. You need to get out more, old boy. Get some exercise. Do you like playing with rubber balls? Right. So what you need is a pick-me-up. I'm also prescribing you three days sick leave. Your job is exhausting. And here's a tip. You're lucky, you know. Two more seconds and I was going to call the emergency hotline. Uh, uh, thank you. But where did all the wild animals go? Wild animals? The medicine must be kicking in already. <laughs> Flying Pizza has another order for you. Push one to confirm. You kept the watch? Well, what? I think it's pretty. Are you crazy or what? Do you want to wind up as pepperoni topping? <laughs> so what are we going to do now? We are going home. Home? But how? It's far. Oh, I don't know. Try walking. It's incredible!
people. Crazy. You all look like you're in tip-top shape. <laughs> it even looks like their muscles are toned up. And they look so healthy, don't they? Yes, as if they had been exercising outside in the fresh air all day. Well, well, I had my doubts about that kibble dispenser, but I can tell you we're certainly keeping it now. <laughs> oh, no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I won at the Cat vs. Cat Contest, a tournament that takes place the first day of spring every year. Hey, what a coincidence! Today is the first day of spring! I get it. You're practicing with your ball for the tournament. <laughs> no way, never. Do you hear me? I will never participate in that contest ever again. And I never want to hear another word about it again either. Because you lost. Lost? And that! That's what? A loser's trophy, I suppose? I won it in a grueling fight to the bitter end. Whoa! Hey, can we play with your ball? Not even in your dreams. You put one paw on it, or even so much as look at it, and I'll make sure you get a one-way ticket to the darkest corner of the darkest forest in the world! Four, five, six, and bingo! I'm touching it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> can I touch it and look at it too? <laughs> you can look at it, but pause off. I promise. <laughs> oh. A table <gasps> what? <laughs> We didn't do anything, Vic. We're talking about <laughs> You should have seen the expression on your faces. Whoa, sis. What a great imitation. Whoa. It's like so pretty. Oh, there you are. Oh. 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 Finds out that her trophy has disappeared, her vengeance will know no limits. She'll tell the living stones that we're wild animals for sure. Uh, <laughs> meow. Louder. Meow. Uh, are you feeling okay there, Nugget? Uh, no time for small talk. You've got to rehearse if you want to be in top shape for cat versus cat. Oh, right. The tournament. Are you entering too, Washington? Nugget, must I remind you that Washington is not a cat? A cat? Say there, Fluffy. You know everything about everything. Where is the contest taking place? In no? that nearby alley. Hey, that's enough. Back to rehearsing, Nugget. I know exactly how we're going to get Victoria's ball back. We'll sign Sam up for the cat versus cat contest. What? Of course, with the strength of a wild boar, Sam will clobber all those whippy cats. He wins the tournament, we get the golden ball, replace Victoria's, and nobody's any the wiser. For sure, Sam's the strongest. Yeah, but Sam doesn't know how to fight. It doesn't matter. Just wait and see. Look at you! You look super impressive. Okay, let's test you out. Awesome! Didn't feel a thing. <laughs> What's all the ruckus? What are you supposed to be with that new costume? 
a pet hippo? <laughs> no, it's nothing. We're just playing. Uh, uh, Sam the trampoline. <laughs> Wanna play? I don't think so. <laughs> Losers. Phew. All you have to do, Sam, is stay in the ring, not move, and wait until your opponent tires out. Let's go to the tournament. I say, who's the strongest? The awesomest, the terribleest of all cats in the world? Who is gonna turn his opponents into mushy cat food? <laughs> no one even dares step into the ring. You're the winner. <laughs> He's such a wimp, he won't even make it past the first round. Just do like I told you to. Take the blows and don't budge, okay? Yeah, well, I couldn't budge even if I wanted to. Make room for the ref. I'd like to remind you of the rules for the cat versus cat contest. You each take turns fighting, and it is strictly forbidden to touch your opponent. <laughs> Quiet! The first one who makes a noise is out of here. And don't forget, I know each and all of your little secrets. All right, then. Like last year, the winner is the one who makes the most intimidating meow. Oh, no! It's a meowing duel, not a boxing match? We're goners! Sam can't meow to save his life. And the first meow goes to... Scrawny! 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 Looks like Scrawny is suffering from a handicap that all you cats know only too well. A major hairball crisis. Maddox! And the winner of the first round by default is Sam! Yeah! We won! The golden ball is all ours! Yeah! That was only the first round. Besides, we were lucky. Sam cannot meow! <laughs> Trying to like me. Meow. Okay, we're gonna concentrate on your meowing. Repeat after me. Meow. No, sorry. I mean, seriously, it's not that difficult to do. Whoa, now that's what we need. Did you hear that, Sam? Whoa. If only Susie could take Sam's place in the tournament. <gasps> Why, of course. Susie, do you read me? Ready? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. I'm ready. With a meow like that, we're going to win that golden ball hands down. I mean, really, Nugget, is this a good time for you to be eating? The tournament isn't over yet. I need a protein booster if I'm going to win the cat versus cat final. Okay, true, I'm battling that loser Sam in the final, but I'm going to walk all over him. Huh? Sam? In the cat versus cat tournament? What in the world is going on here? Trying to say something? <laughs> it's not working! Hey, Susie, what's going on in there? It's not my fault! Sam closes his mouth every time I meow! You want Susie to meow, paw on chest, okay? <laughs> Get it over with and give up, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> is the victory of teamwork! Team that I coach with my brilliant strategy. Yeah! For the final, I only got one thing to say. 
Sam, just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change anything. Susie, really let go! Be generous with your voice. Go for the biggest meow ever! The huh? for the last round of Cat vs. Cat runs right step into the lane. We're gonna win for sure! <laughs> Everything's going to go great. There's no way you can lose against that fat potato brain, Sam. And Sam opens the battle. Sam! 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 I get it. You want me to start, is that it? So that you'll get the last meow? Sure, why not? Time out! Time out! <laughs> Seconds timeout. We got a major problem. Susie has lost her voice. She can't me out. What are we gonna do, Wash? Victoria is never gonna forgive us. Where's my golden bow? Hey, Victoria, can't you see that we're in the middle of the final that I'm about to win? <laughs> uh, let me explain. You see, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Incredible! For the second consecutive year, Victoria has won the Cat vs. Cat Contest! <laughs> really, it's uh, not at all what you think, believe me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. to go to Bebop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We want to go! We want to go! We want to go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! Mm. Today! Uh? Uh, mm -mm. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Da! It's a bunny mobile! A self driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state of the art self driving car? Uh, Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day, and when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry. If I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer's no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Yippee! 
I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011-989998819999191. Seven two five three in case of emergency. Destination: Bebop Bunny. Bush, stop the car! No, we're gonna get caught! Oh, come on, Sam! Don't worry. The windows are tinted, so there's no risk. Uh oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. <laughs> Yeah. Emergency on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree. You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. In order to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Oh, Wash, this is too awesome! Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving! But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we, we there, there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls. I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash, hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, everything's under control. Don't panic. Situation's under control. Turn this thing off! An alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh-oh, the animal pound! Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, uh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's go! Forget the alligator! Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you! Ah! Uh, they're not following us anymore! Well, of course not! They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, okay? <laughs> what did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. Yeah. <laughs> found! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Oh, Automatic oh remote control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. <laughs> The Super Duper Tunnel Slide has just opened! Come and get your fill of bunny thrills! Shall we go? It looks awesome! Do you think we've got time? Sam said we should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. No wash! Speed up! They're right behind us! <laughs> Gone. We're safe! Uh, Wash, you can slow down. They're gone! I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like, uh, stuck! Uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down.
going to pick up Eugenie and Susie without getting caught. Call the emergency number. I think now's the time. Oh, yeah, good idea. But, um, uh, what was the number again? After 999881999, is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? Oh, but the close call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Center, how can I be of assistance to you? Hey, it works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool! I ditched them! Oh! Oh no! I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, mm -hmm. please re Did you just touch something? Charge. Mm -hmm. Battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. Here's a genie. Susie. Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Livingstones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes and... We knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey! How did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out! Bebop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner! <laughs> wow! That works! Awesome! Thank you, girls! <laughs> You see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> you agree? Mm -hmm. 